everybody my name is Tasha and welcome to Candy Little Yams this is my 36 week pregnancy update and in this video I will be talking about my maternity leave for my job which in my case just so happened to be me quitting my job now this job was low pay no benefits whatsoever they did offer 12 weeks maternity leave which I didn't see myself wanting to go back after 12 weeks exactly plus it was very difficult to take this leave that they were talking about they needed a doctor's note my doctor didn't want to write a note because I don't have complications and I was ready to go my body was hurting and aching and tired at 36 weeks of pregnancy I kept having this feeling of like pre-labor or pajama later I started to see mucus and I had all this pressure and my back was just in terrible terrible pain all the time it was a stand-up job and it was just too much and hopefully uh, if I need to go back to that job, they'll take me back since I did leave on good terms, kind of. Uh, I did put in notice when I left, but I left before the notice was actually up. But that's neither here nor there. Um, and, or I could find a better job in which I can actually support myself and child care to work there. And that's another thing. The pay was kind of minimal, so... It couldn't really afford childcare. Plus, I want to breastfeed and our pump, and they didn't really have a pumping room. It's like the law now that you have to have a pumping room that isn't the bathroom that doesn't get interruptions, so it can't be the break room. Um, but I don't know where that would have been in that place unless it, was, unless it was like the manager's office, which is just awkward because I would have to be like, okay, time for me to pump, and it would just be weird. Anyway, um, other than that, um, why else wasn't a good fit? Oh, yeah, and if you don't have a lot of money, there, like if you don't make a lot of money, there are solutions like CAPS. It's like a, a government assistance program where you can get help paying for child care. But I know people on CAPS, and like they'll just cut it off. And like you will have to like almost lose your job, like call out and stay at home with the child because they cut off your caps and the daycare won't take your child. And like some of the places that accepted or whatever are questionable. Anyway, I just don't want to fool with the caps. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. I left the job at 36 weeks pregnant. I did a lot of Googling. When should you take maternity leave? And in this American or modern day culture, it's kind of like not acceptable not to work up until your due date. Like even the doctor wants you to work one day up until your due date. But a lot of women didn't used to work when they were pregnant or they would stop working at six or seven months. So I think to make it to 36 weeks with the type of physically demanding job that I had, I did really well. And um, hopefully I can find a better job or a better means of income, like a work from home situation. I think that's what would best suit me for the time being would be great. And that is all that happened during my 36 week of pregnancy. Um, thanks for watching. If you um, took maternity leave or didn't work or whatever, I know a couple of you have discussed this with me before, but leave your story in the comments below. I really want to hear. Um, that's it. Bye.